Welcome back to another video. My name is Jessie. I am a kindergarten through sixth grade music teacher and today we are talking about my top tips for teaching music on a cart. So I know this year is bringing a lot of uncertainty and for a lot of us, the situation might be music on a cart. And I actually have a little bit of background with that. My very first year, I traveled to three schools in my district and one of the schools I was full-time the whole entire year on a cart. Um, so I wanted to just let you guys know a little bit of what I learned from that year and hopes that it helps you out if you are um, on a cart this year. So the very first thing that I want you to take into consideration is the cart. I mean, that makes a lot of sense. The very first cart that I used is one of those kind of standard kind of document camera carts. Um, it has pretty small wheels. It's pretty narrow. Um, and I had found with that cart, while it was free um, and was nice, I could kind of deal with it because I was only at the school like maybe an hour, an hour and a half each day. So I kind of went on with that cart, but I don't know if it's a good option for an entire year because I think it really comes down to like a good cart has some nice wheels, has some wheels for some off-roading because especially if you are an outdoor, indoor campus, um, or your school is really big, you want some wheels that like, I'm talking like the wheels that like you see on wagons that people have now, those unfoldable wagons. I'll insert a picture of the wheel I'm talking about, but it can kind of go on grass, it can go on sidewalk, it can go on the regular, you know, tile floor, um, carpet. I think it really comes down to those wheels. The other thing to can take into consideration is also just like the shelving unit of it is it totally flush where like if you put a bunch of tambourines on there they're just gonna fall off right so either you need to have something with a little bit of a ledge I guess I don't know how to explain it a wall that's going to kind of corral all your items or you're going to want to invest in some baskets which as teacher, we, we got some baskets. I know we have all kinds of little containers. So put some containers on your cart to make sure that you can corral all your things um, because you don't wanna be rolling down the hallway and things are falling out. Uh, the last thing I would say about the wheels and the cart itself is just keep in mind my first year when I was an indoor outdoor campus So I had to go over a sidewalk a lot and like, you know, there's like cement and a little indent and then cement and a little indent That was really really tough for um, Instruments and having them like jiggle and fall off So again, I just really highly recommend that you really focus on the wheels and that they can <laughs> off-road and take some pretty good uh, turbulence the second thing I would take in consideration is communication. So you're going to be working with a lot of classroom teachers, a little bit like more, you know, because you are going to their classroom. Um, but just remember that that is your classroom for that time. So make sure you're an advocate for yourself. Let them know what you need, but of course be flexible and make compromises. Um, questions that I, you know, talked about and worked with the teachers that I went to their classroom. We talked about things like, do I need time to set up? Um, is there a certain part of the classroom that I need to work with? can we move chairs can we move desks i will say moving chairs and desks probably in the social distancing <laughs> scenario probably won't you know be something you need to talk about um but they took that took a lot of time in music and i don't know if it's quite worth it but that's an aside um is the teacher going to stay in the classroom while you teach uh is the behavioral management just going to come from you or from both of you so if they're in the classroom i had a lot of experiences where the teacher would stay in the classroom be teaching and they would kind of you know kind of help me out and as a first teacher at that first year teacher that was great but I think now I would really you know would want all behavioral management just to come from me um, so yeah just definitely have those commit those conversations with other teachers and be flexible but also be an advocate for yourself and let them know what you need because that is your classroom during that time and finally, let's talk about technology. So going from you know room to room to room, you, it is a little hard with the setup time. So here are two things that I think really helped me out. Get yourself a Bluetooth speaker that is battery like chargeable so you don't have to constantly find an outlet every time you go to a classroom. Um, you can hook up your phone and your phone will stay you know hooked up with Bluetooth, you know, hopefully for most of the day, um, which is really nice. You don't have to worry about you know plugging anything in. Um, so a Bluetooth speaker is a game changer for me. I really enjoyed having one and I feel like as music teachers, a lot of us have them already because they are really helpful. The second thing uh, for technology would be having a USB drive or uh, a thumb thumb drive is sometimes what people talk about and have all your files ready to go on that. So I found when I would want to use the computer 
and I would put things on the cloud and maybe I would use Google Drive, but even going to a classroom and having to log out of that teacher's login um, and then trying to log into yours, it already takes a good three, five minutes. Um, and so it can be a little tricky sometimes. It can be a time sucker. So instead, have all your stuff on your USB drive. You plug it right into their hard drive and you can pop up your folders, cl double click, open up whatever you need, and it's ready to go. So I think that really is the best way, even though we love our Google Drive and the cloud is awesome, I still think a USB drive is much faster. All right, you guys, that is it for this video. Thanks so much for watching let me know if you guys would like any more cart tips I can definitely think back and there are definitely things that I have been thinking about but those are like the major uh, big things that I wanted to include in this video so let me know if you would like me to make another video I'd be happy to do that um, and I am over in on Instagram and on Facebook just music and motivate if you have any questions for me I would love to talk with you if you are gonna be in a cart situation all right you guys I'll catch you in the next video bye